Hey y'all, I'm Elaine with this one Olive Soapery, and today's soap is one that um, is, uh, it's this one right here. Um, <clears throat> the scent is one that is inspired by um, Rain and Angelica from the Joe Malone London, London Rain Collection. The scent is described as a light fresh scent that opens with top notes of clean citrus followed by sweet florals of jasmine and violets and rests on a base of cedar, sandalwood, musk, tonka, and light amber notes. Um, it's a really clean fresh scent. It does smell like um, <clears throat> light florals after after rain. Uh, it kind of has like an ozone type scent to it. Um, but you barely get any citrus, but it's really nice. Um, it's a nice, clean, light scent. <clears throat> Not overly feminine, but it's definitely um, a pretty smell. Um, this is not what I planned for the soap to look like. Um, when I had started making the soap, it, it didn't, um, accelerate or anything like that. It behaved very well. And I had planned on piping, um, all these gorgeous colors that are layered in here. I had planned on piping, um, Russian piping tips, making flowers, um, on top. And that would have been great if I hadn't got distracted while I was waiting for my soap to set up and reach the right consistency, but I did because I started texting my sister and sending her memes and she was sending me some and then by the time we finished my soap was hard as a rock. So um, I just had to plop it in, do the best I could and I'm really pleased with how it turned out actually. I kind of like this better than the flowers. Um, but you'll see in the video me struggling to get, um, the soap in the mold before it turned into solid soap. So enjoy the video and be sure to like, subscribe, and, uh, hit the little notification bell, uh, so you can be notified when I upload more videos.
save a little bit to go on the top. I think I need to save a little more than that to go on top. I will be fine. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of this blue and I'm just going to do I'm just going to do like a quick It is so hard for me not to swirl this, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so I'm just going to take the rest of this and pour it on top here. Not even really on top, just kind of in there. So I'm using the Russian piping tips and I don't know if you can see that. This one, um, I may have waited a bit too long to get this one. I'm starting the middle here. I'm gonna push down and pull up. Hope it sticks. Dang it. I'll pull that one off. Okay. Something's not working right. There we go. There we go. I'm going to scoop these ugly pieces off. I'm going to stick them back in here. We'll see how this goes. Uh-oh, this may not work. Okay. Piping bags are not gonna stay on, so. Yeah, it's gonna pop right out of my bag. There we go, okay. change of plans because my piping tip just kind of popped right out of my bag. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, so I have all this extra soap and I'm not really going to... Alright, it's starting to... Oh my goodness, this is much harder than I thought it was going to be. So while I was goofing off, my soap got really hard. So I'm going to put this on here, just kind of put these different colors on like this. If not, I will end up with so much extra soap. So we're just going to put the soap on there. will be fine. It'll turn out pretty. Just got to get it in there.
the sides aren't perfect um because i really had to hurry to get that soap in there um but those will be planed off it's not a big deal um the rest of it looks pretty good um so i'm gonna get this split into logs and then um we'll get it cut we'll do this one first it still seems like it's a little bit soft it doesn't look too bad Okay, so we're going to cut this one first. I'm going to cut this little ugly end off. That little hole part there. Right. Okay. Well, I think that turned out really cute. I would have much preferred to have the little flowers on top, but we can't always get what we want, especially when you don't pay attention to what you're doing. You lose track of time like I do. still smells really good. I love this fragrance and I'll definitely work with it again. The fact that it hardened up like that was not the fault of the fragrance. That was all me. I like what I've done with it. I like the how it turned out. I'm, I'm pleased with it.